Hi, my name is Katie Wright, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about why worship matters to me. Um, I grew up as a preacher's kid. I have a seminary degree, and I've spent my professional life in um, working for churches, so first in youth ministry and now in communications and digital ministry. And so, as you might imagine, I have attended a lot of worship services um, in a variety of venues with varieties of people. I've attended worship in small country churches, in large arenas filled with thousands of youth pastors. Um, I've attended worship at summer camps and on mission trips and in campus ministries. Um, and each worship experience is different, but they also all are powerful in their own way. Um, and as I think back on those experiences, of course, there are some that stick out. I think about um, the Advent service where my dad imagined what Joseph might have been thinking and feeling when Mary told him she was pregnant. Um, I think about the service um, at summer camp when I was being stretched outside of my comfort zone, um, a lot more outdoorsy than I was at the time, and I sang the line from the song Amazing Love that says, In all I do, I honor you. And I knew that God was going to meet me even there outside of my comfort zone. Um, and I think about the last year and a half, um, gathering around my kitchen table, doing online worship, which was something that I hadn't really done regularly until the pandemic, but um, has been a powerful experience in its own right, especially with my now three-year-old daughter who attends worship with us because we're attending online. She would be in the nursery if we were in the building, but because we've been attending online, she's been able to attend with us and has even started reciting the Lord's Prayer along with Chris and Mebin when we get to that point in the service. And and so as I think about all those and so many other experiences, more than I could possibly recount in this short video, um, I realize that so often we get tied up in the who, what, when, where, how of worship when those details really aren't that important. Um, God shows up and that's the why. God shows up in worship when we come and when we offer ourselves in that time of worship and we show up and we listen, we're pushed, we're challenged, we're comforted, we experience God in whatever way we might need at the time. And so for me, that's the why, and that's the only important piece of it. And so um, I'll continue showing up because God does.